Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and route to Hartsfield, area 10 to 20 coming in. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your... Wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Any of that seem important to you? All of them. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. In the road! This other time... <laughs>
Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. God damn. Officer? Ah! 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 Ah!
Hello? Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? There's something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Well, what's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window.
Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here! Shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just w Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get into my car! Go! Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two.
Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um... Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like. I know what it smells like. Duty. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. On the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? 
Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Seems like those two are getting along. He seems like an alright dude. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. 
He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Do you, uh... Think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yeah. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun!
I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... Uh... Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. If Kenny had helped, his son would be alive. And that's why I'll wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please. Just go. Get out, and never come back! You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. 
But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. It's not 
damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. The pills are in there. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell him all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. It's a combination lock. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? 
Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I just sort of ended up here. Oh, cool. You've got that little girl with you. Yeah, I'm just taking care of her. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. It doesn't seem like that trap guy is going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. I hope he ended up that way and wasn't a living guy who got trapped and then bitten. Jesus, no kidding. I'll work on determining if that boy worked here. Sounds good. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Let's head back inside. Okay. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Fixed 
Houston. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have Trying to get some rest. Huh? The station is okay. okay. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him uh, wasn't such a good idea. No more worse plans. Steve. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Uh, anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate the support. Thank you. God bless you all. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Uh. 
Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Let's have a look at that finger. Something about it. How about if I press here? Ow! Big Ow or Little Ow? Um, medium Ow. Okay, well it's not broken. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Are on that zombie out in the street. How you doing? Okay. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Zombie out on the street. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? 
I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows.
spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Find a weapon. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. behind you. Oh! 
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you, too. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? She didn't want to live. She would have found a way to end it. I... I guess. 
You can't make someone fight. We gave her the least painful option. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, leave. Just leave me alone. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. It's doing what lunks do. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I'll work on determining if that boy worked here. Sounds good. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. safe here. Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I'll work on determining if that boy worked here. Sounds good. I'll 
work on determining if that boy worked here. Sounds good. Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. How are we doing? Better get back to getting this guy's medicine. Hmm. Take your time. Street. Montans came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. That's what I figured. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. 
Was he bad? He was. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay.
Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Let's head back inside. Okay. It's all melted now. Hey, guys. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Better get back to getting this guy's medicine. Hmm. Take your time. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. 
Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. few seconds of searching him, we'll know if he has the keys. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? this now, man. I got to do this. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there.
Oh no. Oh shit. We gotta hurry.
time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? That I should know. Shit! Oh, on it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! The window is through! Go! Hmm. I found something! Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as 
You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. 
I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. was toast but you know what he wasn't oh and then hey duck uh, you want to cool it for a minute okay sorry i'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here no it's not that it's i got grabbed again i was there though i fell and my walkie-talkie broke glenn had the other one oh i'm sorry Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee? Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Ah! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore whenever we thought Kenny's kid was the bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! No more, please! No more, please! Please, please!
previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Margaret. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Maybe he'll be better off without us. We'll have three fewer miles to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat.
don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. When bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided the camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Oh God. Lee, do something! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! <laughs> We gotta move! The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, oh, what the hell are have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! 
What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your mouth. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come... Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle. There, Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs>